Hey everybody, Matt here with LGN Gaming, and today I just want to talk a little bit about Nick Valentine and how I've been playing as his companion recently. Now, if I don't know if you guys ever came across some of the Eddie Winter hollow tapes. Now, these actually have to do with Nick Valentine. Specifically, uh, there's going to be probably some spoiler stuff, so if you haven't really played with Nick Valentine and you'd like to, you don't really want to watch this video because I'm going to talk a lot about how get how to completely get him idolized by you and stuff like that. So, if you don't want to hear that, go ahead and just exit out the video right now. I'm going to continue talking. Anyways, the Eddie Winters Hall tapes actually have to do a lot with Nick Valentine, specifically the Nick Valentine that w existed uh, pre-war. He was actually a cop, and uh, he ended up going to the institute, and but they basically I guess they took his brain or something like that, basically, and they took his conscience and it ended up in Nick Valentine, the synth. Um, so you actually can, if you get uh, a high enough affinity with him, he'll actually ask you to help him find these tapes and find any Eddie Winters, who is this really terrible mob boss guy from uh, the pre-war era, <clears throat> who uh, actually killed Nick Valentine's... Uh, wife and he did not take kindly to that of course and Nick Valentine kind of wants revenge he kind of wants he wants justice is the real thing because the man was a criminal and he actually ended up surviving the great great war he did this by taking some uh, experimental thing that basically turned him into a ghoul and by turning into a ghoul he managed to survive to now so you have to find the 10 uh, tapes, because they have a code on them, to actually go get into uh, his uh, bunker, or what, whatever have you. And once you find them all, you go down there, you open up the door, and then you basically just kill him. And he kind of does that as a closure thing. He, I, It's kind of touching, because he's. I feel bad for him, because he's in the position where he realizes he's not Nick Valentine. But he has all of Nick Valentine's memories, and he knows everything Nick Val Valentine did, and he basically acts exactly like Nick Valentine. His voice is Nick Valentine. Uh, he even kind of looks like Nick Valentine, I guess. But he's not technically Nick Valentine. He's a copy. He just has his uh, conscience. And he wants to feel like something is his, and finally when you end up talking to him he says what he feels like his is the good he's done so the good he do does makes him happy makes him feel like he can actually die knowing he had something that was actually his and I think that's really touching and I really I really can't believe I never actually used him as a companion until now because I really like him there's a lot of people that I never really use as a companion I really just buzzed through uh, Fallout the first time I played through and it really isn't the right thing to do you there I mean it's such a rich world with such vast stuff you can do and explore and you really gotta you really gotta take it all in to be worth it but I'm getting to the end of really what I want to talk about I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did feel free to leave a like that helps me out tremendously if you guys like this kind of content feel free to subscribe. That is the best way to see when I post new videos. Anyways, Matt here with LGN Gaming, signing off. I'll see you guys next time.